Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in this beautiful area of Nerul in North Goa. I'm going to be showing you guys the streets of Nerul. I'm going to show you guys the Coco Beach. I'm going to show you guys the water sports prices here, which is the dolphin trip activities. And I'm going to show you this beautiful market as well as some seafood prices. Everything interesting here in North Goa to do at the Coco Beach. So let's go and check out this beautiful place in North Goa. Okay guys, so we are starting off our vlog from this beautiful church here in Nerul, which is called the Our Lady of Remedios Church. Uh, in this area, there are beautiful villas as well. This is called Vars Coco Tropicas. So this area is one of the most beautiful villages. And as you can see, the church here, the outside of the church is very beautiful. The road which I'm coming from uh, is the road that goes towards Reis Magos, which also has another beautiful church and of course the big Reis Magos fort. So we are going to go from the left over here. But before we go to the left, I just want to show you guys uh, this area a little bit. So just to show you guys, this is the entrance to the church. So as you can see, this is Our Lady of Remedios. It's a very beautiful church here. And just outside, this is the local village life. I'm just going to put my camera on my bike now and give you guys a little virtual tour of this area. So this is the fisherwoman here, very nice lady. While I was coming, hello. So I just told her, I don't want she was asking me if uh, I want mackerels, which is the, you know, fish that she's selling there. So this is the beauty of village life, you know, you come and meet these very simple, beautiful people. And this is the road going towards the Coco Beach. So it's a little rough road. So if my camera shakes a little bit, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so we are going towards the Coco Beach. And this is uh, the village which is right next to Reis Magos, which is called Nirul. It's around uh, probably like 15 minutes from the Kandalim beach. And this is like a very popular place for boating. So there's another beautiful uh, villa which we just passed, which is called Stay Master. Uh, and you have like these small homes and things that are available uh, for rent here. So what you can do is just use Google Maps and you'll find like all of these uh, places on this road. So this area is very beautiful. The weather in this area also is really nice because of course there's not a lot of crowd here. So it is very, very beautiful. Uh, and it's nice and cool because of all the greenery and trees. I just wanted to show you guys this temple here. It's a very nice temple here, uh, very beautiful. So this nice temple and let's just go a little further down and show you guys more attractions that are here on this road so it is surrounded by fields it's very beautiful like in the evenings if you come here especially in the sunset times so just to show you guys this field on the right here uh, just on the right just there up ahead is this beautiful restaurant called Rita Bar and Restaurant. This is a famous restaurant for Goan seafood. If you've seen my previous vlog of this place, definitely check it out. It's on my channel. So I'm just showing you guys. This is Rita Bar and Restaurant. It's overlooking the fields here and you get some really nice uh, seafood there. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going further down this road and we are going to go through the fields and you know, go to the beach. The beach has like all these uh, water sports counters which take you for the dolphin trips. So that is like this really nice. Oh my gosh, they have cameras like literally everywhere. Okay, so yeah, so this is the beautiful road leading down towards the beach here. And if you see the greenery guys, it's so beautiful. So it is harvest season now in Goa. So if you see this is all, uh, what is that called? It's called paddy. Paddy is like, and the smell right now, this is the brown rice. I think it's the brown rice, but yeah, the local Goan rice. So this is rice season here and the smell is so good. It smells of, you know, the, the smell of the rice over here. I'm just going to show you guys the rice here on the road. So if you see, they have kept it for drying. Uh, I don't really think this is the brown rice, but yeah, this is the rice that is here. Amazing, the smell is just infectious. It's so beautiful. Uh, during rainy season, this place is like incredible because it's like so, so green. But just to give you guys another look around here and show you how beautiful it is. 
uh, this is the first time I'm vlogging in this area. So just uh, smiling at the fisher lady, I just remembered a story. You know, I always smile at people wherever I go. And like for me, I always feel that, you know, the more you smile at people, the kinder you are, the better it is. So uh, a few years ago, I was at the night market and like this big guy, he was like full of gold and everything. He, I don't know if he was a gangster, but like he had like so many bodyguards and like they all surrounded me and they said like uh, he came up to me and he was like you are the guy who smiled at me a few days ago and I was like probably because I smile at everybody and he's like I would like to buy you a beer you know so yeah it's so nice when you just smile at random people and you know whatever kindness you show to other people that kindness comes back so yeah just a little message of kindness here so as you can see there's a lot of cars buses uh, this is like a very famous spot so uh, people bring you know uh, like all the tourist vehicles are here all the taxi drivers and stuff bring the tourists over here so what we are going to do is I'm going to go up ahead I'll just show you guys a little bit of the parking lot area so you guys have an idea of what is here so as you can see there's so many people here and what we are going to do is let us just head on inside here and find some parking and then I'm going to go to the beach and show you guys the beach so this is the parking lot over here and of course the entrance to the beach is there on the left so okay I'm going to just take off my stuff uh, park my bike and put my helmet in and then I'll show you guys the beach okay guys so just before I go to the beach I'm just showing you guys the water sports counter here so this is the water sports counter it is 350 rupees per person three years and above and you want the tickets are non-refundable they take you for uh, basically the water sports trip towards the you know uh, Agwada area and just to show you, this is a famous restaurant here. I forgot to show you guys the name. So this is Rohan Bar and Restaurant. This is a famous restaurant here. And just to show you the restaurant here, it's very, very beautiful. Here the view overlooking the ocean. It's been so long since I've last been here. But just to show you guys, this is the restaurant here. And look at that view, guys. So just... Wow, so that is the Coco Beach there. Uh, we are going to go there. I'm going to show you guys from there. But yeah, if you see that side, that is Sinkerim. And Sinkerim is where they have boating as well. But what we'll do is let's just walk around here and show you guys the area outside here. So this is the main counter area. As you can see, like people are doing their bookings here. So, so many people at the booking counter here. So yeah, this is the main booking counter for the water sports and we are going to go down to the beach and yeah, so that's why I parked my bike there. There is also a restaurant that side there and they also have like what, like if you want to buy water and you know fruit juice or beers or whatever you can buy from there. So it's just like a counter and there's a lot of people there. So this area is very popular for like you know tourists to come for water sports. Wow this literally so many so many people right now. So this is like where you can buy these caps. These are like hundred rupees each. They're hundred rupees glasses as well. Okay, they should cost hundred, but yeah. Uh, so just that you know the prices. So if you see here, so many of these shops selling clothes and things like this. Uh, for their bags also so it's super bright today so just to show you guys look at this guys they're selling seafood right on the beach here so this is crabs here then we have uh, another I think this is baby kingfish and yeah they have like other seafood over there so nice let's go further down here you can get limbo soda here and you know this is like typical goa so you can like where else will you see seafood like this fresh fish <laughs> being fried right on the beach there is lobster crabs uh, prawns and uh 
बंगड़े चे कितले? हंड्रेड रुपीस, ओके। सो मैकरल, लाइक दिस बिग मैकरल्स आ हंड्रेड रुपीस। सो आई एम टॉकिंग द लोकल लैंग्वेज, सो यू कैन आल्सो लर्न हाउ आई एम टॉकिंग। अन्य लॉबस्टर अच्छे? वन थाउजेंड फॉर लॉबस्टर, अन्य किधर? क्रैब इसे। हाउ मच इज़ द क्रैब? थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीस फॉर अ प्लेट ऑफ क्रैब्स Four hundred for ten pieces of prawns. Okay, and this big fish. Dying, dying. Two hundred for this big fish. Okay. So, yeah, lobster is one thousand. He told me. Yeah. So you can come here. They'll cook up the food for you. This is called Prashant. Yeah. Homemade masala. Yeah. Homemade masala. Wow, great. So. The homemade rice thali and all goan rice thali. Wow, amazing. So they have goan rice thali. Everything. This is Prashant Fish Point here. So you ha. Art Coco Beach, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, those are the prices. So, you guys know the prices when you come here. Very cheap for seafood. So, you know, if you want to have like a beachside experience, try some seafood here while you are at the beach. I just wanted to tell you guys the prices of the items that are here. Madam, what price is this? This is a short pant. Yeah, how much is this? ये वाला 400 अच्छा ये ऐसा टॉप्स का प्राइस क्या है 600 600 का है ड्रेसेस का कितना है 700 ओके और क्या है सो बहुत सारा आउट आउटफिट्स है ओके हाँ अच्छा ये इसका कितना है सेम आ ओके ओके सो दैट दिस गोवा टीशर्ट्स आ हियर गोवा टीशर्ट का कितना है गोवा टीशर्ट 250 वाला है वे हाँ 100 रुपीस का हाँ 100 का हाँ नहीं क Last 250. 250. Okay. So these are the Goa t-shirts. And these dresses are the same. Okay. 700. All dresses are 700. Okay. So there are t-shirts. How many t-shirts are the men's t-shirts? This one. Yes. 350. Okay. So 350 rupees. Thank you madam. Okay. So many people will get to meet you. So watch the video. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys some other shops here. So if you see these are like the other outfits that are here so you have so many different types of outfits so I know so if you see there are so much of choice here so Goa t-shirts and yeah so you got an idea the, t the Goa t-shirt should be 100 rupees at most of the places but you know it is what it is they have to pay rents and everything so they have so many outfits here uh, just to show you guys the counters and everything that's here if you see here there's like so many people and yeah everybody's come for the water sports there's a little chapel here and wow so it's you know the weather right now is beautiful it's not really hot and just to show you guys there's like artifacts here so many different types of artifacts it's been a uh, while since I've come here, this is all new to me. This is the first time I'm shooting Coco Beach on my channel. So just to show you as much as possible. Hi, where are you glasses? 100 rupees. Okay, so 100 rupees for glasses. Come and meet him. Yeah, so yeah, like so many shops, they have so many styles of sunglasses here. But yeah, we'll just go till the end, show you guys all the shops and everything that are here. Then we'll go and show you guys the, you know, area over there which is the boating so i've showed you the boating prices also so you can come to like that main counter there where which we went to or there is another counter over here so just to so just to show you this is the uh, water sports counter and these are the five things that they will show you they will show you dolphin trip uh, millionaire's palace central jail lighthouse fort aguada and you can cash payment only guys so there's no google pay or anything and it's 350 rupees per person so that you know the complete details wow so great to see so much crowd now at the beach and okay there is a pay toilet also going that way so what we'll do is let's just go to the counter I showed you the counter, sorry. Uh, just this side of the beach. Uh, the beach is not very good looking beach, but the best part about this beach is that you have so many things that you can do. Like shopping is ample here. You got so much shopping opportunity here. And there in the distance is this really nice restaurant uh, called Teresa by the beach. 
uh, they have like other small restaurants there which are very beautiful overlooking the beach and there is one luxury villa right over there which is again looking over the ocean and you have like the best sunset view and yeah so the water here is pretty calm and nobody swims here actually but i'm just showing you guys the crowd here right now so these are all the people that are going uh, you know for the water sports trips over here so there's so many people uh this is pretty it's one o'clock in the afternoon so just to show you guys this is the amount of people here at the beach wow so many people let's go and see the boats what they look like so these are the boats sorry you guys i'm kind of like against the light because the sun is that side so just to give you guys an idea so this is the boat what we'll do is let me give throw my slippers here and let's go towards the boat and show you guys these are the boating here so you can walk in the water here the water is so nice and cold cool water here so this is the boat here just to give you guys a close up idea of what the boat is like inside so this is where like where you, they have like steps you can enter in over here and yeah so they give you the life jacket there and they fill up the boat and then they take you so it's so nice so this is the boats inside yeah so what we are going to do is let's go back and take my slippers but yeah that's the restaurant rohan bar and restaurant which i showed you guys very nice chilled out here and this is the beautiful view of the uh, beach so what we are going to do is let me just take you guys to that side of the beach i'll just collect my slippers so yeah yeah and walk around the beach here such a beautiful day uh, guys most of the people what they do is they forget their slippers over here when they enter the boat and you go for the trip and come back and then you you know you realize you don't have slippers so that's the entrance which we came from and this is like the area here which is the main coco beach area and so beautiful right so this is the real goa vibes a very peaceful beautiful village and you know just amazing right how amazing this area is so this is the rocks that are here uh, and when i was small we used to come and sit over here and the sunset just goes that way especially in the like just after monsoons so here you have this beautiful green algae kind of moss it looks like a, a you know grass here and just to show you something else is there's like this small swimming pool here and it's filled with small fish so i don't know if you can really see the fish but there's like so many small fish in here so small kids you know like that i uh, like to come here and uh, it's pretty nice because kids get to see uh, like all these small small fish here and yeah so such a beautiful day here in goa and yeah i hope you like this place but yeah it's mostly to come for water sports and if you just want to just chill put your legs in the water absolutely amazing guys so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please do like and subscribe and i'll be bringing you guys so many other videos from here in goa